Hello, and welcome to my TechEd video tutorial. On the bottom of your screen, you'll see a links bar, which is where annotations will be posted once the videos are uploaded. In this episode, I cover the basics of EU or energy units from Industrial Craft, as well as the different types of cable that are available to you. So let's get started with the tutorial. For starters, I'm going to explain a little bit about EU or energy units. These are the most basic units of power in industrial craft, but there are two values that you need to note. Energy units per tick and energy units per packet. EUs per tick refers to the total amount of power generated or transferred per tick. If you're running on a computer that can handle Minecraft normally, a tick happens 20 times every second. Energy units per packet is slightly more important. It refers to the total number of units that are transferred with every energy packet. The packets themselves can be sized between 1 and 2048. Cables can technically transfer unlimited amounts of EU per tick, but the packet size itself is what limits it. Each cable has its own maximum packet size that it can handle before it melts. The maximum packet size is sometimes called a cable capacity. Ultra low current cable or tin cable has the lowest of these capacities, which is only 5 energy units per packet. This means it's only really viable for windmills, watermills and individual solar panels. It's crafted using tin and can't be insulated. The next step up are copper cables, which can carry up to 32 EUs per packet, or low voltage. This makes them incredibly useful for most machines. They're crafted using copper and can be insulated one time. Next, it's gold cables, which can handle 128 EUs per packet, or medium voltage. This can make them useful for advanced machines. They're crafted using gold and can be insulated two times to improve their efficiency. Next up is glass fibre cable, which can handle up to 512 EUs per packet, or high voltage. This makes them incredibly useful for things like terraformers or mass fabricators. They're crafted using a diamond, glass, and either redstone or silver. This makes them incredibly expensive. Although they can't be insulated, they're highly efficient at transferring power. Finally, we have high voltage cables, which can handle the maximum amount of EUs per packet, which is 2048, or extreme voltage. This means that they're only really useful for transferring power over very long distances, or in nuclear reactors that have an incredibly high yield. They can be insulated up to three times. To insulate your wires, Simply place them in a crafting bench with a piece of rubber and repeat the process if you want to insulate it multiple times. Alternatively, you can craft a tool called insulation cutters, which can be used to add or remove layers of insulation by right and left clicking respectively. In general, adding or removing layers of insulation will increase or decrease the cable's efficiency by decreasing or increasing the amount of EU loss that happens over distance. I hope you've enjoyed this TechIt video tutorial. I'm Mr. ArcherMC. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.